Hey guys, I am gonna show you an easy way to make delicious cauliflower rice from scratch. So of course, cauliflower rice comes in a variety of frozen packages, which I totally purchase. But when cauliflower is on sale, a lot of times I like to make my own. So all you do is simply break down your cauliflower head, wedge it out like so. Do the same with the other half. Kind of when you're like left with the core here, this core is really fibrous, so I try, you don't want to really eat that part. So then all you do is get your cauliflower here just into some chunks because I've seen a lot of ways to do this. I mean, you can technically break it down with a knife, but I want to show you the easiest way, which is using your food processor. So a lot of times when you get your food processor, you will get multiple blades. You'll get the chopping blade, the slicing blade, and my favorite one, this is the shredding blade. So this is the one that we're gonna use here today. So I have a food processor that has like a large spout to put this through. So depending on how what this size is on yours is where you're gonna wanna cut your cauliflower. So watch how easy this is. You just put it right in, bada bing. Put your little lid on and like hallelujah cauliflower rice now i have tried doing this with the blade as well which you can but what i have found is some of them would get really broken down i'd have bigger chunks and little chunks and then it would kind of get a little bit mushy by the time i would get the texture i wanted so i love love this texture let me show you one more time how incredibly easy this is Put your chunks in. Oh, I turned it off, so here we go. Like, hello, easy. And then once you're done, just remove the top. And I recommend, I mean, per serving, you can, or um, per time, uh, look at this, you can use a head. This is, I still have a few pieces left. Look at how, like, amazing. Now from here, you have all kinds of options of how to prepare this. I'll do that in another video, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make your own. From this step, you can go right into a saute pan. You can put it in a storage container and freeze it so you always have it on hand, or it will last in the fridge for three to four days, so you could just keep tossing it, whether it's in your hot dishes or even in salads. This is so delicious, so easy. I hope you enjoy this. Have a great day.